uh, really proud of our guys today uh, and the effort they and, and they played with out there. And um, you know, we were close. We were close. And you know, I'd like to thank Coach Calipari and you, you, Kentucky for giving us this opportunity. It would bring a lot of our fans down. And um, it was a great. Uh, it was a great um, event for us. And um, I appreciate the opportunity. Um, Rump Arena is everything. Uh, it's the first time I've been here, and it was just a great environment, great fans, and uh, you know we uh, were a little bit, you know, disappointed right now, I guess, that we couldn't just make one more shot, and, and um, you know, but that's a really talented Kentucky team that's gonna, you know, that's playing a heck of a schedule. They're they're gonna be really good and, and be a team to reckon with for national championship and. Um, you know, our aspirations um, are to win these games. You know, I have a pretty experienced group team that won a lot of games uh, last year with the NCAA tournament. And uh, we hope to be back there this year. And uh, you know, we've played uh, a lot of these, you know, uh, top 10 teams really well. And um, I think there's a feeling of frustration that we, um, you know, that we're not quite there yet, um, but we're you know excited to get back to work. And, um, you know, it's just a possession or two, especially against a team like that. So proud of our guys. You know, we battled some foul trouble uh, today. Um, and uh, But I thought guys came in off the bench. I thought Drew Urquhart was great. You know, hit a huge three late, which really isn't his game. Um, but um, really proud of our, uh, of our, of our team and, and uh, looking forward to um, getting back to Burlington and, and uh, continuing to get better. Questions for the coach student athlete. Sure. Uh, coach, what did you, uh, the quality of the two shots you had and tie in at the end, what did you think of those? And if I could ask just like a follow up, uh, wondering about youth and experience, how much that was something that you thought could work here at game? Yeah, I mean, I thought we got good looks there at the end. Ernie Duncan's our best shooter. He got, um, you know, two, look, it, two good looks in that situation. They know we need a three. And then at the end there, when we get the ball back, um, you know, Gabriel makes an amazing, you know, play to, to get a piece of the ball. I thought we had a, I thought we were open there for a second. So I was happy with our end of game situation uh, execution. It, you know, that, that team uh, is really long, big and long and athletic. So it's, it's, they don't give you many clean looks, even though I'm sure they have more breakdowns than they, than they want. Um, they're able to recover from those. You know, we had a couple what we thought, especially it took, I thought the first half, we didn't do a good job of, uh, well, j j you can't replicate that in practice. I thought we'd get to the rim. And we had a couple of clean looks that um, they came in and blocked later. We um, rushed a little bit, so uh, credit to them, you know. But as far as experience um, versus youth, I, obviously I thought that was going to be a big advantage for us. You know, this, our team is experienced have won a lot of games, have played a lot of big games, and this is, you know, the, a lot of these guys' second college basketball game, and I, you know, I don't care how good you are, um, it takes a little while to adjust to the college game. And, um, you know, again, you got one of the best coaches in the country, if not the best coach in the country, and he's doing a great job of getting these guys up to speed. Could you talk a little bit about, it seemed like you were able to get to the basket, Pretty much at will. Can you talk about how you were able to penetrate Kentucky's defense as much as what you did? Yeah, I mean, a lot of that was just guy sitting next to me. He's just he, he's special, you know, and he can get to where he wants on the court. He has an amazing ability of finishing. We spread, the, you know, our bigs help help the cause because we have bigs that can shoot threes, so it spaces the court out, so it allows um, teams to have to decide, you know, um, if they're going to help at the rim or if they're going to stay home on shooters and. So I think the combination of our big skill set and just um, the ability of Trayvon Haynes, I thought Steph Smith, who played in, you know uh, played his first game, I thought he had a huge play late to get Drew an and one where he got downhill. So Cam Ward, who's our other kind of penetrating guard, rolled his ankle and wasn't available in the second half. So um, so I think it's a combination of those those two things. It's hard to guard in today's game, you know, in space. Follow up on that. Going into it, were you thinking point guard matchup was something you guys wanted to take advantage of, or was it just how the game unfolded? Yeah, no, we didn't. We didn't look at any matchups thinking we wanted to take advantage of uh, of anything. You know, um, 
You know, that's just that's how we play. I mean, we play today like we play, you know, and a lot of people probably haven't seen us, um, but that's how we play. And this guy's, you know, Trayvon Haynes is a player of the year in our conference, you know, so when he's out with foul trouble, that hurt us. That hurts, you know, because you can see what he can do when he's out there and not having to worry about fouls, you know, and so um, he's got to do a better job of staying out of foul trouble. We need him on the court. Trey, could you talk a little bit about the Kentucky defense and what you thought about it? Um, obviously, they're, they're really good. Um, I think Coach touched on them being able to kind of hide their deficiencies because of how long they are, especially certain lineups one through five. Um, but for the most part, we we kind of attacked it just patiently and uh, picking our spots. And uh, we, got a, we got a lot of sets and a lot of players that can, can score the ball and can attack. So I think we were able to kind of find holes and pick them apart in, in a sense because they have to respect one through five guys that are on the court all the time and they can't really can't really help off. But I mean it's really it's really tough when they have that time, six six, six seven, six eight, six nine, six eleven out there for us to kind of re to get to get into the pain and make the right plays because they're defecting classes and I mean that last play of the game Gabriel was kind of able to jump jump back into the play even though we thought we had an open through with Peyton. So I mean their length is, is really something. Uh, Coach, after this game, you guys have some pretty tough uh, games against other top and major teams coming up, like St. Bonaventure and Bucknell. And uh, you just talk about how this game prepares you to go on and take on some of these teams and games that will really help boost your resume. Yeah, right. Yeah, we, we have a really challenging on conference schedule. And, um, you know, we, at this point, we're looking to play anyone, anywhere, anytime. And, and you know, 12 of the 15 games are on the road. And we uh, uh, do play some really good teams. So, we're, uh, you know, we like to challenge ourselves that way. League play, we're one big league, so we understand league play is everything. So we need to make sure that we understand exactly uh, who we are by the time league comes around. And the only way to do that is to play the best teams you can play. And, uh, you know, we're, um, you know, we'll watch the film and there'll be stuff we need, obviously a lot we need to take from this game and um, uh, prepare for Bradley on Thursday. Just a little on the promotional value of, uh, for your program to play here in this setting, the mm -hmm. TV and the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, the fact it was on ESPN was huge. You know, I think this is the first regular season ESPN, you know, the, the flagship ESPN, the main station um, game that, that's been on there. So, for, from that sense, it's great that the country got to see how good of a program we are, how good of players we have. And, um, you know, that certainly helps, and then playing Kentucky, which at Rupp Arena, um, for our fans, it's a you know it's a great opportunity for our school. It's a great opportunity to to see what um, you know the best of the best looks like from a facilities and investment standpoint, and certainly they have um, some of the best players in the country. So it's it's um, it's always good to kind of um, see what the the, the top teams are doing and the, and the best facilities look like and, and how things are run, you know. So from that, it's a good, good for everybody. Coach, you have uh, Ernie and Everett Duncan, Robin Duncan just signed his letter, letter of intent this week. Yeah. They're down here in kind of their neck of the woods from Evansville. What did it mean to them just kind of have their family in watching them today? Yeah, it was great to have uh, all the Duncans around and, you know, we'll have three of them on our team next year and they're a big part of our team. They're, they're a great family. And, um, you know, we have a lot of Midwest kids now. And we, you know, part of scheduling too is um, finding good, you know, really good opponents, but also so kids can get close to home and play in front of family and friends. So for the Duncans, a couple hours away, this was a good opportunity um, for them and for their family and friends. So I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad it worked out.